If you have tried to buy a new vehicle in a recent years, you would have probably heard a familiar story. Due to chip shortage, you'll have to wait for few more months. Not only the automotive sector, but whopping 169 other industries have also been severely affected by the chip shortage. The root of this problem lies in the supply demand gap. The question is why don't we just increase the production and fill this gap? This isn't very easy. Let's understand. Now there are two basic type of semiconductor companies. Some like Nvidia, Qualcomm, Broadcom focused only on designing the devices and outsource production. These are known as fabless companies. On the other hand, there are fabrication companies like TSMC, UMC and Samsung also referred as fab. Remarkably around 60% of fabrication facilities are concentrated in Taiwan which put the entire world at the risk of chip shortage in case of any geographical or political unanticipated event. Why is that the case? Why haven't fabulous giants like Nvidia, AMD or Qualcomm started manufacturing their own chips to address this issue? Are they incapable of doing so? Let's understand the issues they face. The first is high cost of lengthy process of setting up fabrication unit, which involves the infrastructure development, acquiring licenses, generating skilled workforce and technology transfer. Now even if a company bear the effort of setting up fabrication plant, the maintenance is so high that if it doesn't run at its full capacity, it will become a loss making entity. As every few years the tech node changes and the older tech node products become obsolete. The foundries has to keep updating their infra every 2-3 years, roughly estimating around $3 billion investment in a fab over a 3 year schedule cost around $3 million a day. To justify that cost, one has to produce a semiconductor product in volumes of at least 5000 to 10,000 wafers per month and to generate that much they needs to keep all the equipment running all the time even if that means creating large unused piles of wafers. So if every semiconductor company start their own fabrication unit they will all run into huge loss and won't be able to survive. To avoid this the semiconductor industry operates on foundry model. Fabless companies outsource their production and save cost of maintaining their own fab, while fabrication companies maximize their production, work by catering to various fabless clients, ensuring full capacity utilization. It's a win-win situation for both of the sides and the equilibrium stays maintained. But this equilibrium fails at the time to cater sudden surge in demand. As we have seen during COVID, when the usage of electronic gadgets such as laptop and smartphone increase dramatically. Also currently world is moving towards more automation with high speed 5G network and the extensive chip usage in automotive industry also contribute to the fair share in chip shortage. Efforts are being made to increase chip production capacity. While it may take some time but certainly we will find a way to ensure stable supply of semiconductor chip in future. Post your views on this in comment section. Stay tuned for more such informative videos.